No matter what MIDI controller I try, I always end up coming back to the X key air. There's something about the feel of the keys that just keeps bringing me back, but I, like many others, have had my share of issues using this controller with Beatmaker 3. However, today I believe I've ironed out every kink between the X key air and Beatmaker 3. I'm gonna help you do the same so you can get to some frustration-free music making with this sweet MIDI controller. What is up creatives? It's Jarrell, your music technologist, here to help you master the tech you need to make music freely. And before we get started, I wanna give a huge thank you to DistroKid for sponsoring today's video. Also, make sure you watch to the end because I think the last tip will definitely be a game changer for you. Without further ado, we're gonna talk about six problems you may be having as well as six solutions to those problems with the X key air let's go so the first problem i've heard many of you have had as well as myself is the problem of your x key air not showing up in the beatmaker 3 bluetooth list so let's pop it open and see what we can do about it so uh, i'm in a new session right here and normally i would hit this gear and i will go into midi to connect for those of you that don't know, the X key air does not connect through the traditional Bluetooth list in your settings. It connects program by program. So we're gonna open up this Bluetooth here and we would expect to see X key air right here. We would expect to see that not grayed out. And it is grayed out right now, which means we can't connect to it. In order to connect it, we've got to turn this bad boy on and you should start seeing some blue and red flashing lights. If you're not seeing blue or red flashing lights, for instance, maybe just a red light, you're gonna need to charge it. And if even after doing that, this doesn't pop up like this, I would try turning the keyboard off and then back on, and it should show up in your list. You should be able to hit it, it should say connecting, and it should finish connecting just like that. If that doesn't fix it, try closing and reopening Beatmaker 3. And if that doesn't do it, try restarting the iPad. That should solve the problem. If you're like me, when you first got this controller, you knew nothing of the X key plus app for iPad. These next three problems are gonna be totally solvable through the X key plus app. So problem number two, your X key air is way too sensitive when you press the keys. That's pretty common. I had the same opinion. Quick way to fix that, pull up the X key plus app. Once it's done loading, we'll go ahead and click connect to Bluetooth X key and you should see it's already connected there because I had it connected via Beatmaker 3. If yours isn't connected, go ahead and connect it and then we can get ready to edit the velocity curve. So you'll notice I have a user curve here called user curve two. You can edit this curve. So the default curve that it comes with is the linear curve and that's what it looks like. Now you can go into this menu again and pick a user curve and draw it in. This one is already drawn in but you can edit it through drawing. It will try to approximate what you've done. That's not a very good curve. You're gonna want something like that. I have user curve two up here, and that's the one I use. Basically when I press these keys, I'm not gonna get an instantly intense hit, but if I hit it a little harder, I can start to get that intense hit that I want. Problem number three is the X key shuts itself off way too often. This is easy to fix in the X key plus app as well. So if you go into the miscellaneous tab up here in the X key plus app, you can see it says, auto shut down after 30 minutes. That's what I have it set to. By default, I believe it comes set to five minutes. That for me was way too often. So I set mine to 30 minutes. Usually I'm not doing a session for longer than 30 minutes. So there should be no reason for it to be longer than that. But for you, you can set it to wherever you want. You can even set it to never turn off. But I do recommend keeping some sort of battery saver option for auto shut off. The fourth problem is less of a bug and more of a design choice by CME, but that is that you can't hold the sustain button and try to play with both hands at the same time. It's awkward. There's a solution in the X key plus app. And don't worry, there's more solutions I have coming that are not in the X key plus app. But in order to fix this, all we need to do is go to the keys assign tab up here, and then we can assign each of these keys some specific features. Specifically, we're gonna hit the sustain pedal button. Under individual parameters, there's a part that says mode here. This is usually set to push. I've set it to switch and that allows you to press the sustain pedal button right here, and now it's in sustain, or I can press it 
to turn it off rather than having to hold it and play because that can get awkward. Before we hit the last two tips, let me just take a quick second to tell you about today's sponsor, DistroKid. If you're familiar with my channel, you know I've been releasing music through DistroKid for a couple years now, and I've always been a fan of their hyper follow page tool. Today, it's a must to have one link that leads to your music on all streaming services. Hyperfollow is a completely free and awesomely powerful promotional tool for anyone using DistroKid. It's the one-stop shop for all the links to streaming services and stores for your DistroKid release. The instant you finish uploading at DistroKid, you can start marketing your release and collecting pre-saves on Spotify, including fan email addresses. You can customize your Hyperfollow page to include your social media pages, allowing your fans to link back to you on platforms like TikTok, IG, and YouTube. Once you've made your link, it never changes, and you can also go in at any time and add more links to your Hyperfollow page. For 7% off your first year of DistroKid, click my link in the description and get started releasing music ASAP. So problem number five is that the X key is connected, but you're not getting it to make any sound in your virtual instruments. Let me show you what I mean. So I've got Pure Piano loaded up here in Beatmaker 3, and if I click on it, we can see it here. We can double check to see that my X key air is in fact connected. There it is right there in the list. But if I go over here to the Pure Piano page and I try to play something, no audio, just clickety clack. The main issue, the main problem that's happening more often than not is under settings, you need to go up here, go over to the settings and behaviors tab and make sure you have audio and MIDI, that's route all MIDI to selected pad, omni button turned on, and voila, we have audio. What this is doing is just making sure that your piano is playing on whichever bank you have selected. If you wanna target a specific bank, you're gonna to have to go in and map your MIDI settings manually. I can show you a little bit of how to do that. First, you need to make sure you know what MIDI channel your X key air is on. So open up the X key plus app, go over to keys assign and see what your keys are mapped to. So if you select any one of these keys, you can see they're all mapped to MIDI channel one. So that's the channel we're gonna wanna target. So we can go back over to Beatmaker 3 and we can press and hold on Pure Piano here, hit MIDI setup, hit port, hit the X key air, and I'll go ahead and turn off the Omni button and I should be able to get some sound. Beautiful. Now definitely make sure under MIDI setup you have it set to channel one. That's the MIDI channel we're on. Now I can go into a second bank and add a virtual instrument. We will just do mellow sound for demonstration. We've got the flute loaded up here. We can go back and I wanna layer the flute and the piano at the same time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hold on mellow sound, go to MIDI setup, put it on the port of X key air, we can go back and then select channel one. We should be able to get both now at the same time. Instant layering. Just remember that once you've done that, anytime you play on your keyboard, doesn't matter what bank is selected, you're gonna get those two instruments playing. So you're gonna have to go in and undo those settings if you want to stop that. Now the sixth issue is something that drove me bonkers for the longest until I figured it out. And it honestly almost made me wanna get rid of this controller because I thought it was just broken, but it is solvable. And it's the issue of the random disconnects that happen when you press play after recording something in Beatmaker 3. Let me show you. So I've tried to recreate the conditions that would cause this issue. I'm gonna press record, play a little piano in, and when I stop it and play it, you'll notice the X key air will disconnect. So just for a test, let's show, I do have it connected here, and then I will go and press record. We should get audio. Okay, perfect, it's there. Now I press stop check settings, it is gone. What happened? We're disconnected, no more audio. Pressing stop seemed to mess it all up and it's not connected. Now I have to go in and connect it again, but I go in and I, and I look and it, it's not showing up here, it's grayed out. And, but I look at it and I see, oh, I've got the red and blue lights, it should be showing up in the list, what's going on? I turn it off, I turn it back on. Oh, look, it popped up, cool, that was random, what's the issue? 
The issue is you have the X key air turned on under MIDI output. Let's take a look. Look down here, X key air, BLE Bluetooth, it's turned on for output. We do not want it turned on as an output device. You turn that off, that is gonna solve the problem. It's so simple, but let's test it. So as always, make sure you've got Omni turned on. We're gonna go ahead and try the same thing again. I'm gonna hit record. Two, ready, and. Beautiful, it played in. I press stop. And it's still working. That was it. Quick question, which of these problems, if any, were you having with your X key air? And if one of these tips helps you solve it, let me know down in the comments. And if you're looking for a good pad controller to go with your X key air, hit the link up here and check out my video on the Akai MPD 218. Until next time, creatives, go make something dope, and I'll see you in the next video.